Alright, let's get a little eye racing in. Have a little fun. Again, old tires going out here like I'm running for president. Get comfortable here. Jump into this race session. Mm. My hands are freezing. It's cold in my house. Whew. Come on, Emma. Be nice to me today. You're not always nice to me. I haven't practiced quality at all. So, but as long as we get on the board and obviously I'm in top split. Um, how many cars? I'm the fifteenth car in the top split. <laughs> how are you calling it was A three? Yeah, acting like a jerk. <laughs> Now my wife is having a a hot spell, a hot flash, a, a hot moment. So she turned the AC on, and and it's not 83 right now. But yeah, you're gonna troll, <laughs> Natty, my guy. Can always count on you to be a jerk. <laughs> Love it. I'll jump in the chat here in a sec. I think I jumped in. If I'm in there, let me know if you can hear me. Let's see if I can actually set a decent time. <laughs> Let him know I was bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Natty? Uh, first race of the week, so we'll see. 
Yeah. You know, I only get a limited amount of these, so I've got to be smart. <laughs> but, like, I, I love it because I'm the 15th rated car out of 15 P3s. So it's like, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, and if I, if I just come in the slot that they have me placed as the 15th car, I would lose 71 I rating. Dang. Yeah. It's like I'm the 15th, I'm the last rated driver. And if I just finish where I'm slotted, I lose 71. Lose. Yeah. That don't make, that don't, that don't make a lick of sense. No. Like, I understand losing because it, it, it expects me to place higher. But, like, to lose that much, to me, has always baffled me. Like, I'm the last rated car. I made it in by literally the skin of my proverbial teeth. Mm -hmm. or, in the, or in the words of my late coach, may you rest in peace, by pubic hair. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? So it's like, dude, like, but, you know, it is what it is. It's like, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do what I can do. I'm going to do my best and have fun in the process. So, you know. All right. First time lap. Let me focus. Yeah, I tried doing that little hot map challenge. God, that car kills my soul. <laughs> yeah, it can be complicated. I haven't tried it yet. Well, once you get to the top of the hill and you got to hit that hairpin, and the car is like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to stop. I want to let inertia keep me going forward. That's right. What you mean? <laughs> oh, because it's at Alton Park, right? Yeah. Yeah. Historic layout. Yep. Well, it's cool. I mean, you ain't got to worry about chicane but still. Right. It's still, I love the track. It just can be tricky. This slap is, I just got to get something on the board. And then we can try and push the envelope a little bit on the second one. This is going to be a slow lap. Well, what are you normally running? 130 what? Uh, this is a 139.8. I've won 138, but, like, I'm not going to. We're going to see. Oh, nope. Off track. Just that quick. Dang. Yep. I haven't done any practice with low fuel, so... You know, but like I said, I get Hell's such coming. little practice. Oh. Yeah, I tell you, it's like, like, you know, like I said, for me, trying to get used to I race, I races, um, track limits. You know, like I, I mean, I was, you know, taking certain lines on Olden Park, for instance, that like, dude, this is normal, and any other sim. And it's giving me off tracks. So I'm like, are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah, I racing is its own beast. Uh, I was like, dude. <clears throat> I mean, like, I mean, it's like, I'm not even off the track. I, mean, I still got two wheels on the track, and they tell me off track. I'm like, nah. Bro, right. Come on, player. <laughs> nope, I racing is brutal. Because you'll watch a race in real life and be like, um, no? <laughs> but yeah. Like yeah, like I should be able to cut that, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I'm I'm just like you know, like uh, Lando Norris was doing to Lewis. Like he's going off every <laughs> every <laughs> lap. And then just tell us when he's going off. He's doing it like every lap. I remember that was at uh, Austria. That joke was hilarious. All right. Uh, running out of gas. Okay, 
All right, let's see what we start. Oh, I guess I should move this so you guys can see. Who is going on, Cohen? How you doing, boss? Salutations, my friend. It sounds like my audio is doubled from the game. Uh oh. Does it sound like that, Natty, on the stream? No, not to me. Uh, well, hold on. I'm uh, I'm just listening to you in here, in uh, Discord. The spotter uh, let sounds. Let me mute Discord and just listening in uh, in here. Okay. And what I can do, if that's the case, which you know. The spotter sounded twice. Is it just the spotter? Let's see. I raising sim mic. Discord OBS. Oh wait a minute. Well, I was just listening to you. Now you sound fine. Like I said, I guess this is the spotter. I don't know if that's something with the game audio, I guess. Yeah, I think it's. So it's just the spotter. Okay. So then. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, game. So. Mixer. So that's that's the one thing I don't like. It doesn't show like the other app. But what I will do is I will turn the spotter and just use it like that. Okay, so you shouldn't be able to hear him now. He'll play in my ear until I figure it out. Mm. So look at that P8, just like that. All right, let me go ahead and... And I had more pace in the car, but... First race jitter, so get ya! Right. Get ya! Get ya with the goody good. Shaking in your boots. Oh, man. <laughs> my boots. My bootstraps there, but Kevna. All right, let's see. Uh, standings. Let me do something real quick. Scale sliding, multi class, multi class drivers. God, class me. Let's do this! One to go, go. Nick on by. Line up on the right side. Yeah. The estimated strength of the field is 2,507. Close, pit road is closed. Let's go point to racing. Move you over to screen number two. Oh, what okay. the hell? Going to try. Get a couple of laps in. I love it when it when my stream deck works. We running Red Bull Ring tomorrow night, and I'm not. Oh, very nice. Good at, yeah, I'm not. I'm not very good at Red Bull Ring. I mean, I know the layout, of course, but just not good. You know, certain corners I just don't have the confidence in them, so I gotta figure it out. Oh yeah, I should have told you that was a big update. All right, let's survive. That's that's the name of the game. Survive lap one.
Survive lap one. Settle in. Okay. I just feel like I should be faster here, and I'm just not. It's like, come on, Ray. And this is the the hardest corner, the first chicane. All we gotta do is thrive to survive. As an off track, come on. See, that's what I'm saying. If you're in ACC, I'd take that. I take that same line, damn near every lap. Nothing. Right. Slow down. He must have got a slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's way easier on the off track, so it's ridiculous, to be honest. I can't get my telemetry to turn on either. I don't know what the hell. And I think it's tab, but I'm not sure. It's, it's not working. can't go through the chicane together like, <laughs> like what the hell am I supposed to do like ridiculous but I'm not gonna die all right we'll just get into oh, the zone okay. Yeah, that was scary. Oh. Almost. Oh, 
let's tap them in the back. That lost me some momentum. Come on, Ray. Settle in. Oh, he lost it. It wasn't a spot there, but I gotcha. Me being a cautious driver. Oh, that screwed me. I had a good run on him, but yeah, I screwed myself though in the next corner. Stay close. 138. Good lord, that's a fast lap. I can get that chicane down, I'll be so much better. <laughs> right, my drive faster. Yep, off track. I hate that. It's not an off track.
Run it. Messed up there. Getting closer, little by little. <coughs> Excuse me. Get a little bit of slip. Oh no. That car saved me. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, this is not going to be fun. <laughs> you got it right, right. Hey, Patrick, what's going on? It's the Soul Train. Oh boy. <laughs> now a little catch Patty. Alright, we made it through that. Quite the kerfuffle. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Oh, 
Oh, dude, like, why would you pinch me to the corner? Really? Like, I wasn't going anywhere. Could have been a net code, though, like... <laughs> like, I had nowhere to go on that one, you guys saw. You saw him, you saw him. After all that, still P9, so not bad, I guess. Could have been worse. If I can catch up to the guys in front. He was touching the naughty bit. <laughs> you funny, Mike. Oh, he's point two behind me. I didn't know he had made up that much pace. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, no, I've got damage on the right side. Thank you for that. <sighs> How much damage do I have? Nice. Well, who knows how that damage is going to affect the car. <laughs> yeah. Inappropriate touching is the least of my problems this race, apparently. I'm only getting 90 frames. Come on now. <laughs> Sometimes I racing you baffle me. Let's 
Thank, Thank you. you. Let's, Let's try again. Frames per second is your cap. I cap mine's five below. Oh, you gotta be kidding me with the off track. I cap my five frames below my monitor refresh rate. It's just 165 is what I set it to because my monitor is 170. So, yeah. But oh well. My racing's not optimized for much these days. I got to slow down. <sighs> to be honest, I'll take gaining one I rating over losing any. Let's be honest here. Toys away, and all of a sudden everything got quiet. Oh! <laughs> I looked at my computer. I was pushing my monitor back. I looked down. Oh, Discord! I need to close out the Discord. That's what happened. Oh, so I've lost time on the straights. Every time I get on the straight, my car goes slow. I can see the time just plummet in the straights. So that's nice. I have no straight line speed. Boss. Operation Operation Building Flow. <laughs> Oh, boy. Last time I got in that chicane. Oh, 
I forgot all about F1 in China starting so early. Nice. Tune into that for sure. And watch Lewis Hamilton be slow. Everybody say he's washed up. Oh, good lord, 11 out of 17. Uh, that's that's fun, fun, Matthew. Sorry. Watch Max Lolly guy again practice to then set the fastest laps. Really? 12? Like. Oh, yeah. Sprint weekend FP1 doesn't matter. You're right. But I swear I heard <laughs> Max poo poo and Sprint Weekend all together, so. He's never excited. Like, lately, he's just not excited about much. <laughs> like. But such a young guy, he. He does not like Sprints or Las Vegas. Or 24 races. Or tracks that aren't traditional. Or street circuits. You know, for all the stuff people say about Lewis Hamilton whining, I hear Max do the same thing. Like, he's just not a fan of a lot of things. Like... Like, he's 26 and he, he hates Vegas, he hates street tracks, he hates sprints. Like I said, I think his personality type is like an old that? man. Fats as hell, I don't know how long I'm going to stay in F1. If they keep stretching this season, he's going to retire. Like, dude, enjoy it, man. You're the, you're the GOAT right now. Like, <laughs> you're the fastest driver. I just still think it's too much of his daddy coming out of it. Oh, for sure. That's what I'm saying. I think it definitely is that. But like you said, Patrick, yeah, like, dude, you've got money, pretty girlfriend, fancy cars, championship titles, you know. But that goes back to the whole, how do I say this? The whole idea that he was raised in it so he might just be tired of it you know what i mean yeah, like you know you look at andre agassi and like some of these dudes like when they can retire like why are you retire early you know but i think he might be just one of them dudes he's just tired of it he's done it all his life oh i knew that was gonna happen But yeah, like he, like all of them, like you're millionaires, man. Like you said, Patrick, they got more money than I can count. Like, calm down, man. Enjoy it. Like we know you're competitive. We know you want to win. But goddamn, what you complaining about? Like dudes like that, you be like, dude, how much is a gallon of milk? Oh no, oh no, I mean, I you ain't gotta worry about it. Right. How much did your car insurance last month? Oh, uh, I don't know. You know. You probably don't even know how much he pays for his mortgage or rent. You know what I mean? Right. No clue. You know, just like go. You know, these dudes. A lot of them live in Monaco or they live in the like. Come on, man. What are you complaining about? I, I bet he don't even know how much is his freaking high racing membership. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, you know, your assistant does that, like, you know, and all of them, like, I just get tired of it, like, Lewis, stop it, you, you make too much money to be bitching all the time, like, I, like, sometimes I agree with Toto, like, dude, we know the car is shit, just drive it, like, I get it, you get it, we get it, do the best you can with what you got, damn it, right, like, 
Like, I'm not the biggest fan of George, but at least the dude is, like, trying to speak positivity. You know, and I think Lewis is just at the point where he wants to... He's on limited borrowed time at this point, and he really wants to win. And it's the first time in his career he's really had to struggle. You know what I mean? Although he did with McLaren, but he, you know, at that point in time, he was only a one-time champ. Now he's a seven-time champ, so... The sense of entitlement just seeped out of his pores sometimes. It's like, all of y'all need to shut the hell up. I'm like, damn, man, Lewis, I love you. But sometimes you, he's that person you date. you like, you make it hard to love you, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you make it hard to feel anything for you, Pimpin. Oh, that was just an abysmal race. Oh, this is pitiful. Yeah, this is just a bad race. My pace was horrible. I got hit a bunch of times. Yeah, I got damage on the right side. I had no more top speed. Yeah. Damn, ran my first 151 on the last lap. You gotta shoot up the last four. Oh boy. Yeah, but just like. Can we stop complaining, pimps? Like. Or do you want my job? <laughs> like. <laughs> I made good money for a guy who relies on his paycheck. Right. I'd give a left nut just to be one of the crew guys, man. Right. I could, I should do, uh, let me be a guy that just hump, hump, humps tires all the time. I don't give a fuck. Right. <laughs> I'll do that shit. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, you're right, Patrick. Like I said, yeah, when you don't win, it's hard to stay positive when, you know, you know, Mercedes, like, they've had one win in the last two plus seasons. Right. And because they were dumb enough to double down on that stupid ass car. Big time. You know what I mean? It's like, what made you think that that was a good idea? Like, yeah, it's just crazy. One. Right here. All the damage is repairable. All the damage is repairable. Rare of a mistake from Toto. Is it a rare mistake though? Because Toto came in as the team was on the upward. Um It's all relative. People that make fifty K think hundred K is rich. Hundred fifty K thinks rich. Is rich, yeah, totally all relative. Like, that's why I believe athletes should get as much money as they can. But the problem is when you're rich, rich, like, they're not like they're not the difference between, like, you said, 50 and 100, 150, 300, 500k, and a million. Those are comfortable people in today's society. If you make 500k a year, you live in a nice house, you drive a nice car. You know, you, you're able to go on family vacations, you're saving for your retirement, but you still work in 30 years. Like 500K a million a year, you still work in 30 years. Um, Lewis can retire today. Right. <laughs> Deuces, 30 something years old. Max right, can retire never, today. I mean, right. Never take another freaking endorsement check, nothing. Right. Just off what he got. Right. <laughs> so that's my thing. Like, yeah, the, it's relative, but like, yes, get all the money you can. But in the same sense, like, let me see real quick. This one starts at 1030. Do I want to erase that? But yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, it's just weird. Like, 
dudes out here complaining about everything. You're like, dude, you make you make more money than God. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, yeah, no, like we understand life keep kicking you in the nuts, you know, um, and that, you know, everybody like more money, they say equals more problems. Eh, ask the poor man, like who has more problems. I mean, rich and wealth brings problems. Um, you I mean, know, they, they just have a different level of problems. That we correct. Have. Correct. <laughs> But worrying about their next meal, worrying about if they lose their job, worrying about what they're going to be doing in the next 20 years, worrying about, like, those things aren't. And I think having perspective, like, I always have perspective, like, I'm, I mean, I was poor, I was on public assistance. So for me, it's like, I get that. I guess I'll join this race. Ain't nothing else better to do. Um, but yeah, you're right. Some people complain no matter what. And like I said, sometimes I wonder with Max, is it his daddy in his ear that's making him complain as much as he does? Mm -hmm. Or right. is it the fact that he actually feels that way? You know what I mean? Like it, the demands on the season are quite high, and he might just want to have a family at some point. You know, so maybe that's right. part of it. And Lewis is like, "Nah, I'm, I'm enjoying my life right now," and he's he's lived his life. You know, but you're right, Patrick. Like Toto and Christians, Christian, they are great at what they do. But I almost feel like I said, Toto kind of came in at a point where he inherited some on the up and up. Now it's now it's time to build. And he's never really been in this situation where he went from success to quote unquote failure to success. I mean, and failure for them is relative. Um, See exactly perspective is everything. If Lewis or Max lost eighty percent of their wealth tomorrow, they'd be looking to jump off a bridge. <laughs> possibly, possibly. Mm -hmm. Although I think the difference would be Lewis wouldn't jump off a bridge because he's been poor. I think it hit Max a little bit harder because he's always had his dad who's had a, a set income, um, Formula F one driver. So I think the 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 journey has been different for both of them, and I think that's why. I can relate more to Lewis in that sense, um, but I understand Max. And I appreciate them both. But I think Lewis's upbringing, going from essentially rags to riches, um, but you're right, Lock on. Like, it, it's your lifestyle dictates your financial situation. 500K for a house or two million. I mean, it's still a house, it's still a car. Um, it definitely is all perspective. But let's be honest if you suddenly, I'm not sure if you're in the US. But if in the U.S. you suddenly hit the mega millions and now you went from uh, 100K a year in your house to now you got 500 million at your disposal, um, a car is not just a car. Because if it is, you wouldn't buy the Lamborghini, the Ferrari, the Bugatti, you know what I mean? So as much as I agree, uh, that Kia Forte GT and Telluride I got outside would be traded up real quick. Um, but I'll be right back. I got the restroom.
ahead and put on my my wonderful things. All right, let's see if we can recover some IR here and maybe get consistent pace. I haven't done the fix setup at all, so we'll see. And I'm doing this against my better judgment because I hate fixed races. You're right, lock on you. Yeah, there is a point where you just have so much money, it's like you don't know what to do. And that that's the Jeff Bezos and Warren right. Buffetts and Bill Gates and Steve Palmers. Like, they buy sports teams for fun. Like, that's crazy. You know, I'm going to buy the Nets. I mean, it's only $2 billion. Yeah, I'll, I'll cash that. You want me to cash app that to you? You know. Yeah. You're right. You make a mill a year, you got to be real careful. That That is not, like, how do I say this? That's not, you know what? Screw it all, money. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's, like, you know, uh, I don't give a damn about nothing money. And then there's, uh, all right, all right, you know. If I get a drug habit, it's a wrap. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. I start buying white tigers and stuff. I'm poor tomorrow. I mean, like Mike Tyson. I remember when he w he made 118. No, he spent 118 million dollars in like 18 months or something like that. And it's like, dude, how did you spend that much money? Yeah, this setup is so crazy. Oh, no, yeah. So, somebody made a graph or like a, how does it, they made a web page to explain the wealth that uh, these rich people had. And what it did was it let you scroll. So, like, you would scroll and you would say, oh, this is the amount of money that a $100,000 person makes. And you would keep scrolling. And this is the amount of money that, you know, like this person makes. This is how much money an NBA player makes. And you keep scrolling. And you just keep scrolling. This is the gross, you know, uh, the gross domestic product uh, value for this country. And you still hadn't gotten to, like, Bill Gates. You still hadn't got to Je Steve Ballmer. You still had, like, I mean, like, it's like, how, like, and you just keep scrolling. And, like, it would take you, and they said, like, if you try to scroll all the way to the top, it would take you so much time to get there you know what i mean and like chris rock put it best if warren buffett woke up and had oprah winfrey's money he'll slit his throat and i thought that was funny because like oprah's a billionaire but she ain't warren buffett you know what i mean billionaire money you know what i mean not all billions are the same because they said like you can wipe out illiteracy and world hunger for like six billion dollars and it's like what right pocket change or something like right like you know yeah i can't imagine to see like imagine one day you wake up your bank account got non zeros in it <laughs> ten mm -hmm. zeros in it you like god ah. like i mean again you know what i mean you know, but it's like, like, you know, like, uh, you know, we all think, oh man, LeBron James makes so much money. No, it doesn't. Somebody is signing his paychecks. 
not that much money. So. You know, Warren Buffett is a special case, though. Berkshire actually holds billions in cash. Most billionaires are asset billionaires, like people like Trump. Yeah, <laughs> Trump is a special character, too, because he's been bankrupt so many times. Man. And what baffles me about Trump, though, is, like, people want him to run stuff, and it's like, just follow his business ventures. They haven't... He makes money off of his name, not off of his... You know what I mean? Like, right. he, his well, license and problem. deals. Yeah. But the problem is you got too many people that sit there and says, yeah, he needs to run the country like a business. I was like, you do understand that's the worst thing you can ever do is run a country like a business. Well, because what does, no, because think about this. Do businesses actually really care about their employees like that? Mm -mm. No, they don't. And yeah. if you run a country like a business, what do you think the, com the common people are in your country? They're your employees. You ain't going to give a shit about them. All you're going to care about is your what? Stock oh, of course, your bottom line. Thing. Yeah, that's... That's what they care about now, yeah. So how the hell you think you gonna benefit from that, bro? You not? Oh, for real? I get you. It makes no Trust sense. Me. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sober. <laughs> That's funny. Trump bankrupt a casino. Do you know how hard that is? That is right. literally a cash printing business. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I was watching a video today from Fair and Balance. I guess uh, his Donald Trump Corporation, whatever that's under that's his name, whatever. Yeah. I guess they announced that they're going to start streaming services, but all they said is they're going to have streaming of the app, not like oh we're going to have you know this show or that show, and you know normally if a company says you know they put out a big statement like hey we're going to have you know we're expanding the company. Their stock will increase. Uh huh. No, his is plum. His his dropped by ten percent. What are they gonna right be streaming now? Okay. Social stuff, basically. But if they just said uh, you'll have, you'll be able to stream the app, I'm like, um, why do you want to stream the app? That doesn't make sense. I don't get you what know? that so means. So it's like the whole point was like they didn't give any context of like what they're really gonna be. You know, if they're gonna have actual programs, or are you just gonna be streaming an app? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, it doesn't make gotcha. sense. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like, you know, my thing, like I said, business wise, I mean, yeah, he may know all the little loopholes really and missing that and how to get away with it. Hey, man, a lot of business you know, women, you know, women know how to right. do that kind of stuff. Right. But, but like if I'm going to pick, if, you, if I'm going to bankrupt yeah. seven, eight businesses, I'm sorry, yeah. bro, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. And like I said, my thing is like, if we're going to hire a businessman to run the country, there's a lot of better businessmen. And I think what makes me laugh is like, I never watched The Apprentice. I saw snippets of it. But it's almost as if people see the snippets and buy that as reality. And it's like, well, no, like, no, it's not how it works. You know what I mean? And, you know, like, you know, Reganomics we know was a horrible failure. Oh, God. But I mean, yeah. even with that being said, Reagan was a trope. You know what I mean? Like but the difference. The difference with Reagan is that Reagan was smart enough to put smart people around. Yes, him. yes, and that's like that's I, the difference. Yeah. I mean, oh. I said, I'm no fan of Reagan, but at least he. I mean, he didn't. Yeah. He wasn't a complete moron. No, you put people <laughs> around you who you know. What I mean, like he was a Hollywood star, right? You know, mm -hmm. who became a president and surrounded himself right. with smart people, like right. Donald has a bunch of yes men. And you can't get shit accomplished with a bunch of, you know, you you can get stuff accomplished, but it ain't gonna be the right stuff. <laughs> Trump knows the gray area. His daddy gave him a hundred million. And he leveraged the hell out of it using the system. Oh, for sure, smart man. Oh, yeah. Like oh, I would yeah. not deny that. Like you, you figure out what works and you make it happen. Like you know what I mean? Like if the government gives you a loophole and I can file bankruptcy twelve times, then dang it, you file bankruptcy twelve times. Nobody's saying that you shouldn't do that. Like it, the American way, it's just do you want that guy to run something like the country? Is the question, and I don't know the answer to that. I, I'm not going to sit here and say I know everything because, you know, both sides have failed miserably. <laughs> yeah. 
what we need to happen is we need to get out of this sides thing and just say, all right, give me the five best candidates who are under the age of 60. Can, can, can I get a, a young dude in there? Like, you know, can I get somebody around Barack's age when he started? You know what I mean? Like, like man, like, like, I mean, name the last 80 year old person you talked to and trusted with legal advice or to run anything in your house. And I'm not saying 80 year old people can't do things because clearly they can. But there are limits like. like and I guarantee you, in every community around the world, there are retirement facilities everywhere housed with 75 and 80 year old people but yet we got them running the country <laughs> way too much corporate greed oh yeah corporate greed and for those people who are like man i i tuned in to watch racing yeah we talk everything here so <laughs> don't don't get your panties oh, in a knot we man dude i believe in the valued opinion of everybody if you want to jump in the chat you're always welcome on my channel bro we'll we'll talk about tiddly wings if that just happens exactly up, it is what it is you know <laughs> i love learning about different things oh snap an oversteer and that did it for the lap but yeah man i i just like talking about things you know this is how you run a country we will never balance the budget it's literally impossible at this point. Oh, yeah. But putting proper programs in place, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. The problem is that people who have the power to fix the current problems are the exact people that benefit most from it. Yeah. Yeah. Sober, you are 100% right. I can fix it. Yeah. But wait a minute, I made a hundred million last year. Right. Why would I fix it? Exactly. You know, I can make money off of people's misery. Right. Don't fix what ain't broken, as they say. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, I, yeah, I. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's crazy, though. But yeah, nail in the coffin. It's like the, you know. The war on drugs. A lot of people made money. War on guns. A lot of people made money. Like, I mean, well, like, like I told, yeah. Like I told you about the whole thing about us having to take that shit back to San Diego to, to yeah. ex, you know, ex, you know, incinerate the, the cocaine we busted them with. Dude, there's no there's no war on drugs. There's no drugs, bro. You know how many right. people will be out of business? How many people will be out of jobs if they stopped all the drugs coming across? Man, get out of here. I'm not stupid. <laughs> well, like I said, I mean, you know, the sad part Damn, is, be is, careful. I mean, there, there was this, there was this joke. This guy, uh, did on the internet. This was like I saw this fire about a month ago. He said, "Do you know the only people that actually want you to succeed in life are criminals?" Yeah, Interesting. He, he said, "He said, think about it." A, a doctor, I mean, you know, they want to get you well, but they they need you to get sick so that they can do their job. Right. Your mechanic needs your car to break down so they can do their job. The plumber needs your, your plumbing to mess up so they can do their job. Heating and air conditioning. They, everyone needs you to have a, something happen to you in order for them to make money. Right. No. The only correct. person that wants you, the only person that wants you to succeed is a criminal because that means you got stuff for them to steal. Very true. <laughs> very true. No, very true. Probably, let's see. Damn, be careful. I'm a reformed socialist like that. It makes me a World War Three vet of internet arguing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just let me pay sixty dollars for I mean, a game and like own the everything. Company in that I work game. For, the co yeah, the season I work passes for, suck. We, we we hope you have bad eyesight, brother. We pray yeah. you got some bad eyesight. <laughs> right. Yeah, always more drugs than the ability money. to enforce it. That's why it's easy picking from. Yeah, there's no money in the cure. The money's in the drugs. Chris Rock, absolutely. Yep. Yep. Chris Rock said oh. it. Yeah, he's like, you know, he's when he's like, he's like, I hope one day we able to go to the store. I'm like, man, my AIDS is flaring up. 
let me go get some medicine. Like, I mean, you sit there, you think about that, and it's like, that would be awesome. Get some, rub, get some tussin. Right. right, rub some tussin on it. But yeah, like, <laughs> the power. Oh, what's funny is the power is technically in the hands of the people, but it's not. Like, if you go by popular vote, Trump didn't win, neither did Bush, blah, blah, blah. But I, I understand why we don't do popular vote, because you want the middle of the country to matter. And it totally makes sense to me. Um, but even with that being said, popular vote means, no, we look at the country as a whole. Like, I have this wheel, and it makes me laugh. I don't say, well, pit button, because I use you more often than the thanks button, you get more votes. But shifter, you get more votes than anybody, upshift and downshift, because... I shift you all the time. But steering wheel grips, I hold you 100% of the times and I may not shift. Like, I don't give certain value to certain areas because they're more popular. And then because they're more popular, if you live in that area, you only get this amount of votes. It should be, hey, listen, better man wins. If if you play a, a game, you play sports, you play football, or in the racing, you race. Fastest man wins. And sometimes the fastest man is just the man who doesn't get in a bunch of chaos. Right. You know, but I mean, again, you know, we just spitball in here. Uh, I'd like to see a, a point in time where the people well, genuinely right. matter. Right. You know, yeah, the, the, the Republicans way. broke on yeah. purpose. Yeah. If you yeah. check yeah. out yeah. Roman history yeah. and the same yeah. thing, yeah. basic lip service democracy yeah. so people yeah. can feel like they're better yeah. than spot yeah. Yeah. despots. Yeah. You know, Pit button is Oklahoma. Grips of California. Shifters are Texas. <laughs> oh, man. Grips are California. Well, shifters would be New York. And then I could see, like... Um, in co Yeah, yeah. But no, you're right. That's funny, Silver. But no, man. I, I just think, yeah, we, we could all do better. Like, I mean, like... Yeah. And the reason why, like, we enjoy having these conversations in my group and my channels, because, like, that's how we all get better, man. Like, you know, uh, yeah, the right think democracy is diet communism and the far left think democracy is diet fascism. Exactly. And they're all pieces of shit because we most of us sit in the middle going, hey, what about me? What about me? What about me? What about me? I'm in the middle class. What about me? You know, and yeah. One side wants to give it all away. One side wants to keep it all for themselves. And meanwhile, the happy middle is like, yo, can we just chat, sit down, converse? What? Like, I mean, I don't like everything Natty says or Patrick says or Glenn says or Neil says or Solomon says all the time. You know, I got nothing but love for all my guys, whether we agree or disagree. Because what's the point in always agreeing? Nothing ever gets done if we all see life the same. He liked what I said, though. He didn't mean it. I didn't even know you was in there, Brandon. I mean, you're a jerk anyway, so nobody likes you. Everybody hates Brandon. But no, like, it's just, you know what I mean? Like, and what makes me laugh is, like, like, I always tell people, like, of all the people that should be getting along, it should be everybody but white men. Think about it. White men have run the world. Everybody else has played second fiddle. It's like, yeah, let's just let's attack them white guys and uh, we all be all right. Let's let's bring them down a notch. <laughs> but no, like it it just makes me laugh. We all have so much value to bring to the table. It's like if we realize that we'll be so much better off. Yeah, at the end of the day, anybody who follows my channel knows I just have a genuine love for people. And unlike the doctor who's rooting for your sickness so they can make money off of you. I'm truly rooting for your success so I can give you some free stuff. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, speaking of free stuff, if anybody wants to build a Pokorny Rally DIY box, let me know. I have a ton of prints I can give you. Ah, off track. Take that back. All right. I just realized I mapped the button in this car to a different button. Oh my God, I've been pushing <laughs> my stream deck wondering why it's not working and it's not the right button. Gotta love it. My stream deck just updated when I turned my PC back on. I'm like, I've been on you all day. Pause, you've been on it all day? <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I knew I heard something screaming earlier today. Like, oh, it's your PC. All right. He's like, take that, take that, take that. Pause. Man, I wish you guys were in my channel so we could talk about this because I'm trying to look up and read it. But, man, y'all saying some nice stuff up there, and I can't read it. I love these conversations, you know? It's my favorite thing to do. Talk about the world at large and where we all fit. You know what I mean? Like, we all, we all got to see the eyes to the world of somebody like a child. You know what I mean? I think at the end of the day, if we see the world that way, through their innocence everything gets better because you have never seen a kid hate on another kid of any other color until a parent steps in and says something you know man it's just like this is just somebody else to play with right like hey can billy come out and play yeah billy can come out and play you know billy might only have one leg but yeah you know, kids just see fun people to hang out with. But, yeah, racism is so taught, man. And it's oh, yeah. sad, because it's like, you know, you guys know my house, anybody who's followed me for a while. I've got a white wife. I've got a six-foot-one white son. I've got two black kids from my previous marriage, and i got two biracial babies. You know, and my... My babies are going to grow up in a world where somebody will look at them and say, oh, you're just some black N-word. And it's like, um, they're mama white, yo. <laughs> like, so what do you explain for the other half? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's just, it's just crazy how people think, you know. Uh, the, the sad part is, is that the kids that are taught that shit are innocent. Yeah, you know, you you put kids that ain't been basically brainwashed in whatever thinking you know their parents got in their head, right? You put them in a all kids do do they don't see color they play with each other they don't do right. It is you're another kid in my classroom. We playing exactly. You my friend, whatever. It don't matter. Right. On the reason I don't push that yeah. crap in their head. Right. On the reason I don't like you, it. it's because you playing with the toy I got. I said right. give him back my Lego. Yeah. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? But kids don't or, care. Or you eating Nilla wafers. I want a Nilla wafers. Right. Oh, I got these old stale <laughs> pump Lay's potato chips. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ice cream. Why does Bobby get ice cream? I want ice cream. Well, you had ice cream yesterday. He gets ice cream today. Fuck Bobby. I need ice cream now. <laughs> You know what I mean? And it got nothing to do about race. It's all about the ice cream, y'all. You know, and it's like... You know, I just... I wish people could see that, you know what I mean? Because... Oh, wow. 
you know, but I, I just wish we would see life for the way it should be, like, you know what I mean, like, we can all have a piece of the pie, we can all eat, we can all have money, we can all make, you know, but, I don't know. I mean, I wish I had a, a solution for these things myself. But, you know, unfortunately, Homo sapiens are territorial and tribal as hell. All we see is what we don't have instead of seeing what we do. Yeah, I don't see color. I hate that line. That is the mm -hmm. stupidest line in the world. Because you do see color. Justice right. is not blind. Right. Justice should never be blind. Because, unfortunately, there are disparities that have happened to people of multiple different ethnic groups. Whether it be BIPOC, whether it be gender, whether it be sex. Justice has to see those things and go, okay, we have to level the playing field. That doesn't mean give people what they don't deserve. That means making sure that everybody gets the same access and the same penalty for the same crime. If, you know, if the white guy gets caught smoking weed and the black guy gets caught smoking weed, then they both get the same penalty. Oh, no. Oh, no. It went off. You know, but it's like... Everybody should get the same thing at the end of the day when you make a mistake. Yeah, like, you can't discard racism. Like, you know. Like, shit happens to people of multiple different ethnic groups. Like, you, yeah, you can't just throw it out and say, well, it doesn't exist. Of course it exists. I mean... There are historical facts. There are, like, relevant business facts. I mean, you know, everybody can look at, you know, redlining and banks and how they've operated for decades. Like, yeah, we're going to put these people across the track. You know? That's why they literally say, <laughs> you live on the other side of the tracks. Right. I mean, you know, like, look historically at women, man. Like, oh, my God. Right. Well, like remember, they... I told you that quote from Lyndon B. Johnson. So. I'll well, you know, like, it's, it's just. Like, that's what makes me laugh, though, like, how women, women are their own stuff worst enemy like like y'all need to calm down like 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 here's the problem with a lot like the whole racism thing and like i said even lyndon b johnson quoted this he said if you can convince the lowest white man that he's better than the best colored man he won't notice you're picking his pocket right you know, give him somebody to look down on and he'll empty his pockets for you the whole point is that they're pinning each other, people against each other, and, and, the, right. and the only people that's winning are people that's top. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, like, it, it's it's just sad because we have so much in common. We're all so, like, connected. We are more, we are more alike than we are different. Right. And, like, I know I'm more alike than we are different. Right. And it's like I always tell people, like, you can relate to people... Who don't look like you usually more often you can relate to somebody who looks like you yep. like you know what i mean and but all we see are the differences as opposed to all that all, all that we have in common like nothing makes me laugh more than if you see religious people fighting it's funny to me because you're like y'all both believe in god the same God, in fact. But the Methodists don't like the Pentecost. The Pentecost right. don't like the Lutherans. The Lutherans yeah, can't stand the Catholics. 
the Baptists yeah, fighting over semantic, over semantics right. and shit. Basically, and, like, right here, bro. And it's all the same book. <laughs> like, it's all the same book, yo. Like, how we all get different ways of treating people in the same book. Okay, and then said, yeah. uh, the the Quran actually mentions mentions Jesus's name more than the Bible does. Yeah. Like, right? And it's the largest religion per capita on the planet. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like my wa- gotta watch out for the Muslims. Ooh, right. Get out of here, bro. And then my wife will tell you in a heartbeat, like she was like, yeah, she's she tells like she's feel she will tell you she feels like she's a recovering Catholic. And I always crack up at that when she says that, you know. But I get it. Like she's like, listen, I I mean, I was told I was going to hell, you know, if I didn't do certain things, you know, like. Oh, yeah. I'm, you know, like, and it's, as she's grown and learned more, she's like, we're both more agnostic than anything, because it's like, yeah, we believe in God, but that's about it. Right. The rest of that, My you can have. Is, like, you know, the thing is, too, is, is, of course, you know, people in our country here, you know, they only see what's pumped to them either over the internet or on TV. And, right. You know, whatever's highly edited. I was like, you really don't know people until you actually are in their country. Like correct. Like I said, during the Gulf War, you know, you know, we hit, you know, Bahrain, Jabal Ali, Abu Dhabi, all them places. Man, them people were cool as hell. Right. And I mean, most people are. Lost. They, yeah, they. We got lost. They, people gave us directions, showed us where to go. I mean, treated us like damn, damn near like we was family. You know what I'm saying, and it was, and we were a little mod pods. I mean, we had white people in our little group, black folk. We had a little, you know, a little melting pot of people in our group, and they, they did not discriminate against. Oh yeah, I'll show you where. Oh yeah, you need to go here. I mean, and, and some of them spoke English. If not, they pointed us in the right direction, and you know, get the whole like peace to you, and like you know, put the hands together, like you know, like bow to you, like, you know, right. Bless you and go on about your business, and, and you notice, you start to learn that you know what. These are just people like everybody else. They right. Get up, go to work. All they're gonna do is take care of their families and be left the hell alone. Right. That, but that's everybody. Like, just I don't want everybody. big government telling me what to do. Like, no matter what country you in, whether it's a communist regime, whether it's a socialist regime, you want to work hard, take care of your family, take care of your responsibilities, be a good citizen, and and probably get laid and drink a beer. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Like whether you're gay or straight, you're just trying to get laid in life. You know, but like I I I just I'm just baffled sometimes. But you know, and like you're saying, like, you're right, the Bible is all about interpretation. It has been retranslated so many damn times, and I think what's happened in those retranslations, they've just added things they wanted to hear. Yeah. How can we subjugate the poor, the well, the minority groups? The, yeah, well, you got to remember the whole Council of Nicaea. That yeah. was men basically voting on which books of the Bible were going to be in the Bible. Yeah, I saw you that, know? and they and still like, and those yeah. books still exist. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude, read the book of read the book of Enoch. That'll open your eyes. Yeah. Real big. Like what the frick? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, and like you said, Cohen, like, religion used to be the thing that controlled the land. And what makes me laugh is when people say, this country was founded on Christian principles. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. They got Nobody away talks. from religion. The goal was to have a free state where religion didn't rule. Exactly. And it wasn't, it wasn't found on nationalism because we were a British-owned country, or at least colonies, until we decided to fight back and go, you know what? The hell with this. I'm I'm not trying to be part of this life. No. You know. Yeah, it's, it's funny because like don't get me wrong, like you know, I was born in the church, you know, born and raised in the church. I believe in God and all that stuff. But it's like, but you still have to have a separation of church and state. And so yes, like, at its core level. To. Well, because if you if the Christians get the power and have more say, what about the atheists? What about the Muslims? What what about the people who don't practice right? I mean, like, you got to give everybody the right to practice what they want to practice and not 
be treated differently because they don't believe what you believe. Right. If you want to practice voodoo, that's your damn God given right. Practice your voodoo. Go on about right. your business. As long as it don't hurt nobody, nobody cares. Right. Just don't put no roots on my ass. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, at the end of the day, I just don't get it anymore. I just don't get it. My thing is, it's too many people are too busy being in other people's business. Right. Instead of minding their own damn business. Which is just crazy. Right. Why are you why are you in everyone's in everyone's household? Why are you in everyone's bedroom? Listen to your damn business. Right. How does it affect you on a well, on your day to day life? How does it affect you? It well, does. like what we were saying. Religion is another control system to keep people scared in doing what oh, what the people in power want. I think that's what that okay. says. I can't see it. Yep. Of course. And, like, it's crazy. Because we all four for the okie doke. Mm -hmm. And it's like... I, I don't get it. How can a religion based in love be so hurtful? Mm -hmm. I mean... Well, that's the whole point, is that the sad part is, is that you know, majority of the wars and craziness in this on this planet has been fought over religion, bro. Oh, there's been more people killed in the name of God right. than any other war on Earth. Mm -hmm. That's how crazy it is. Like, think about that. Like, more people killed in the name of God. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I mean, the same God I keep being told and again hopefully you guys understand like i love everybody but like oh babies babies are so so precious like these unborn babies and blah 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 it's like yeah but in the bible like he killed babies <laughs> like sacrifices of babies were asked to be done normally like i know we always think about sodom and gomorrah but Sodom and Gomorrah is your modern day, I guess, Vegas? Yeah, basically. You know? If right now God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, dude, there are kids there, man. <laughs> there are families that live in Vegas. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, when, when he, when he quote unquote, you know, the Great Flood, it's like, okay, he saved Killed Noah, everybody. He, wiped, he wiped out the planet. The right? whole planet. Like, if that's what you believe. <laughs> You know, like, sorry there, Sally. You got to go. <laughs> no, Ray. We don't talk about Old Testament stuff, <laughs> right, Silver? We're not going to talk about Old Testament stuff. It's all about the love and caring. And yeah, we're not going to talk about all, right, all now, the nowadays, how you treat slaves and all those things. Yeah, no. Nowadays, man, too many um, churches and stuff. They they're like literally making jesus to be like this cosmic santa claus or some shit and it's like dude okay. right like he's the same dude Man who was pissed at manifest. the temple right yeah manifest everything no he's not santa claus dude stop right <laughs> Out of here. like no like like i said ultimately you know ultimately live your best life Love people regardless of their religion, their faults, their dreams, their aspirations, their shortcomings. Like, you know what I mean, like, all the time. Here's the thing about, like, especially like the Christian Bible. I always tell people, you know, Bible basically stands for basic instructions before leaving Earth. That's what and I've heard. I've heard it much. Yeah. And if you, but if you take it in totality, and sum it down to just one common denominator, like you just said, is simply love one another. Well, yeah, it's it's there's two it. yeah there's two lines in there that says it I think it's Romans, and like I said I've read the Bible from cover to cover but now I look at it like nope not today, but like Romans thirteen or something like that it's like love thy neighbor with all thy heart, love thy God with all thy heart and soul, that's it says it satisfies everything so it means if I just love people I'm cool got you I could do that, yeah, I ain't worried about none of that other stuff yeah just like yeah, if somebody's hungry feed them. You know, if so, if you can help somebody, help them. Don't be evil. Don't be an idiot. Be smart. 
treat people fairly. Yeah. You know, you know like, like if, you know, like if I got a couple of dollars and I pull up to a light and someone's panhandling, hey, if I got it, you know. I'm oh yeah, you can have whatever. it. Yeah, I'll give it to them. And I mean, I'll have people think, you know, they ain't going to do anything but buy drugs. I that's not my problem. That's not my problem. What they, when I give. It's not my problem yeah. what they do with the money. Yeah. yeah. Do I mean, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I might only have some change that I got in the ashtray or something. You know right. And here they'll take that, you know, whatever. But it's not my problem what they do. What they do with is on them. Right. You know, if they want to go out and spend it on a five dollar, five dollar holla, go do you, Pimpin. I'm not going to be right. mad at you. You know what I mean? But like, I, I just think, you know, like you said, yeah, God had a whole different swagger in the Old Testament. Man, he didn't play with your ass. You know, like he, he was smiting you Man. where you stood. You know what I mean? Big crowd. You know, and it's just, it just makes me laugh that, again, like the same people who would tell you they believe in God are the same people that call me the N-word. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Pippin. Like, they will look a woman in their face and say, you ain't good for nothing but having babies and getting me something to eat. You know what I mean? You know, like I said, what you believe is what you believe. You never hear me criticize you as the person. I just think you need to read the whole thing and realize it's not all true, man. It's not. I'm sorry, it's not all true. I have Christian friends who don't believe in dinosaurs. You know, it's like, you know, so like I, I always crack up when people are like, Ray, it happened just the way it happened. You sure? Because there's a lot of different contradictions in this book. And then I'm sorry. Hate me if you do, people. That book was used to justify beating people who look like me. Do unto the master with the master. What? Master? Really? I thought we were all God's children. I mean, if we're all God's children, then how, how we end up in that predicament? You know what I mean? But I, 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 I don't get it. Like I said. And if you watch this stream at some later point, I got nothing but love for you. Don't ever think I don't. Like I said, I give away enough shit to let people know I really care about them. But yeah, it's just, you know. But life was hard back then. If you think about the Oregon Trail was brutal, imagine like thousands of years ago. Stub your toe real bad on the brush and die of gangrene in like four weeks. Exactly. You can't believe in dinosaurs and be Bible Thumper too. You have to pick a side. <laughs> you can kind of have both ways because of how faith works. It isn't subject to reason. That's how it goes. Oh, for sure. Like, we know that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. don't try and use reason when talking about faith. But having faith in something like God, which is perfectly fine because I believe in God, but then looking at facts and like going, mm -hmm. well, I mean, you know, the earth is flat. Huh? Who? Man. What? <laughs> huh? If the earth. If the earth was flat, there wouldn't be nothing left on it because cats would swipe it all off the edge. Right. Like, think about it for a second. Flat, and it's like, oh, well, it's a it's it's a flat plane. So it's like, but, like, hey, pilots were like, yeah, when you're flying the plane, are you constantly staring down? No, that's not how gravity works. You stare straight. Because gravity continually pulls you back to the center. So you're never going to steer down or steer up. Because gravity is keeping you until you leave that gravitational pull. But again, it's like basic science, people. Basic science. Like, I learned that science a long time ago. I mean, look, I've been watching um, I've been watching a lot of these uh, Falcon 9 launches. And dude, I mean, because they have onboard cameras on the freaking rockets now, bro. They get up high enough. Dude, you see the curvature of the Earth, dude. I mean, it's like, come on, bro. Basic. Video evidence, yeah. it's right there in your Zapper. face, right? And you can, and you can Live. go to, yeah, you can go to Texas and see. You know what I mean? Like you can go and see. You know what I mean? But it's, it's just, you know. But let's see. Some people, yeah, fact, faith and facts are not friends. Some people just straight up think factuality is an opinion. I laugh a lot, like the kind of people who think everything has a fifty-fifty chance because it can either happen or not happen. <laughs> Science doesn't exist anymore. Both of you were right. Like I, I get tired mm -hmm. of it because. 
this little itty bitty thing right here, my cell phone, okay? You know, I got an iPhone 14 Pro Max. This has more computing power than the freaking uh, first um, spaceship to go into space. Oh, you this a, a, calc a calculator yeah. watch yes. had more computing power than that. Exactly. Had. In fact, they said a key fob that you use to unlock and lock your car had has more computing power than the first spaceship that went to outer space. Mm -hmm. This thing runs off of quantum physics, if you understand quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is the coolest thing I've ever heard of, and I've watched so many things on it. And it has a thing called spooky magic, where something happens here, something happens millions of miles in outer space. Because they're entangled. They can't figure out how they're entangled. But we use quantum physics for things like this. Satellites that float around the Earth that can globally tell you where I sit at any pinpoint at any point in time. So when people say, oh, they're going to put a chip in my arm and track me with the COVID virus. Why? They got, you got this in your hand. Why the hell would I track all you? All day long. You have a voluntary <laughs> device right here. They tracking your ass already. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Bro. Right. Like, I got this goddamn thing. Track me all day. You got GPS in your car tracking yeah. you. I mean, come on, man. Right. So why would I come inject on, you with something when I already know where you are, Pippin? Like, I already can find you. <laughs> I, I knew where you were yesterday. I knew what you bought <laughs> yesterday. And what makes me laugh is... Like, people who like, oh, pornography, horrible. I know what some people, you know, whatever. You believe what you believe. You know the biggest consumer of pornography in the country? It's the Bible Belt? <laughs> like, my guy, come on, man. Like, the Bible Belt? Y'all consume more porn than anybody? Come on. Oh, man, because Jebediah, <laughs> Jebediah is all pent up, bro. Right. <laughs> His wife talking about, you know, we can only do the rhythm method and we can only do it. Like, listen, I ain't got time for that. Yeah, you this know? is only for procreation. Nah, I'll right. deal with that woman. I need hoes and different area code, area codes. Daddy Go got on, my phone. That damn right. <laughs> you know, today I want to watch a gorilla sleep. I mean, like, come on now. Like, I mean, like, it, but it just makes me laugh. Like, everybody, everybody <laughs> has a thing. Everybody has a, Big time. you know, we all have a, a hidden agenda. We all trying to get ahead in life. Right. And like I said, if I can convince you and tell you that I love you, come on and join. <laughs> let's let's have fun. Let's joke. Let's talk politics. Let's talk race. Let's talk religion. Yeah. And, and know like that I'm I'm not gonna hate on you. As long as you care, as long as you like I said, do it in earnest. You like for instance, one of my friends that I've had for well over fifteen years. I'm a I'm a fat black man from Cincinnati. He's a Freaking fat hillbilly from freaking Tennessee, Republican. I'm Democrat. I mean, we, you know, we we might chim and chime with each other about politics here and there. But dude, no. Nah. After it's all said and done, whatever, right. dude. You know, right? Do you? Do you? You know, exactly. we like the we like freaking Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon, man. We like grumpy old men. Don't, don't right. <laughs> go on, live, go on, live your life, pimp. And I ain't got nothing for you. You know what I mean? Go right. on, live that life, mm -hmm. live it to the fullest. Because at the end of the day, like I said, I I. I don't really care that much. I mean, if you're a man who identifies as a woman, woman who identifies as a man, go just go to the bathroom, Pimpin. I don't care what bathroom you go to. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, just do do you. Live your life. Know that I'm not going to pester you. I mean, um, but know that you're, it, as, as much as you change who you are, in your core, you can't change that. You can change how you identify. Care less. Do you, Pimpin? You know, uh, but I, I don't care. Who you vote for, I don't care. I think the the world is really pay your taxes, learn how to communicate with one another properly. You know what I mean? Like, can we, you know, can we get along? Can we communicate? Can you pay your way and I'll pay mine? I won't worry what's going on in your house. You don't worry what's going right. on in mine. You know, exactly. Like, care you sleep with. And the reason why we can't make it a problem is because the same thing that we're doing to some happened to people like me and my relationship. Like, you know, you remember the, the Loving movie? I read the book beforehand. But the fact that, I mean, you got to put a law in place for people like me and my wife to marry? Come on now. 
Really? Like, I thought you was a God-fearing person. If God doesn't see color, as you say, then why can't I marry my white wife? Oh. Oh, okay. It just pecked me in the booty. I mean, back in the way back when people could agree to disagree, they have there have always been masculine women and feminine men. Never as never an issue until five years ago. Yeah, no, yeah. Do you? You know, like I said, I I care less how you identify. Like I'm not trying to get with you, so I don't care. <laughs> yeah, like I've had some friends mistake a man for a woman and go all the way there. You know, but it's like to each his own. Like, you know, if if you want to be like me, go ahead. I'm not going to tell you not to be. Plus, to me, like, who would choose a life to be a to be a pariah? You know what I mean? Like, who would choose that life? Man. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, like people say it's just a choice. Who would choose to be on the outside looking in? Like, I love being black, but sometimes I just wish people saw me the way they see white people, because they don't. You don't see that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if we're both walking into a store, you know, like, uh, don't be a menace to society while drinking your juice in the hood. If we both walk in, one of them, one of us are going to be looked at. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, I just want to blend in like everybody else. I'm going to pay my taxes. I'm going to occasionally pester my wife for a BJ. Oh, yeah. you, got a <laughs> like, you said now. How about now? How about now? What about now? What about now? How about now? How about now? You said, right. you, said, <laughs> you said when you feel better, how about now? How about now? How about now? You said after we eat, how about now? I mean, after I we went tomorrow. It, I trimmed it up and everything is clean. <laughs> <laughs> I just got out the shower. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, I used the man wipe this time. Man. I promise I won't force it too much. <laughs> you know, you got to make all these. I just want to put the tip yeah. in. Like, all kinds of stupid stuff. Come on, Mr. Gillicuddy. You know. <laughs> Lots of people do. That's like people I come from. I, like I'm not kidding when I say I'm a form of socialist. Social media forces people to pick a group to identify with or be bullied. Yeah, no, for real. Like you get, I'm just chill for a minute. You get no choice but to, you either follow along with the masses or be ostracized for it. And it sucks because genuinely i us as people like we we cool we get along we have fun we race we play video games we talk yeah. about women we laugh at ourselves we make i make fun of natty he yells at me and cusses me out brandon <laughs> brandon comes in and giggles neil jumps in and chimes in like i mean we all just you know what i mean but i never get offended it's like dude like if they was all here in ohio i was in new york or whatever like we gonna go out for buffalo wings and chill you know, I'm married, so I can't holler at anybody, but I'm be staring with binoculars on. Like, <laughs> it's Man. all good. You know what I mean? You know, so, like, I know people who transition and they feel better even if they barely pass. And I know people who transition probably because they were just uncomfortable with the burden of misogyny and thought that but taking and being more biology masculine would make their life better and mixed results. It's also kind of kind of ironic because transitioning has more social pleasure than ever but the same people who are super jazzed about that used to police people on the basis of being trans trenders yeah and what, and what i get it like it's really weird i know i can say this in the black community and i know natty we've talked about it brand i don't know if you've been there but it's really weird when black people make fun of other black people or make fun of people for treating people this way but then get mad when it, it comes back tenfold and you're like wait a minute i just watched you call that white man a cracker 
I just watched you point and laugh with your group of friends at that person for looking like that. But the minute it's done to you in the black community, oh, you trying to do this because I'm black? Like, nah, I saw you laughing at me. So I got my friends and now we're laughing at you. Like, it's that simple. Not everything that somebody does to you is because they're racist. <laughs> it's like, like, I mean, but yeah, like now what makes me mad is I'm not sure about anybody. Like, we talked about it. Um, yeah, but have you considered it? It's hilarious to make fun of YouTube people and it's distasteful to make fun of blackness. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like, you know, <laughs> if Twitch bans you, just join my channel. You'll be all right. We talk about all these sub subjects. But yeah, like it's like people on YouTube make fun of people in the most horrific ways. And you're like, but how's that any better than you being treated a certain way because you was black? Like, I, I, I don't understand it. And, like, that's what makes me mad because it's like everybody's been fighting for their piece of the pie. And when I say everybody, like, even white men, like, historically, yes, white men have ruled the world. But you had to fight for that. And I tell people all the time, like, the only reason people are mad it's because we didn't we didn't do it first. Because I tell you this, if the world was reversed and black people ran the world, oh, I'm getting in where I fit in. I'm gonna be like, yeah, uh, sir, uh, it looks like you don't have the proper qualifications to get this job. Well, wait a minute, I'm more qualified than that black guy. I'm sorry, sir. But we've met our affirmative action quota for the month. We are not hiring any more Caucasians this month. Come back next <laughs> month and we'll... I mean, like, come on now, like... like Go get a tan, oh, son. You might exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the beach, get some vitamin D, and we'll see you in a month. You know, and it's just like... People just funny, like, dude, we just didn't do it first. And if Africa could get their shit together... We could rule the world from a financial well, standpoint. Well, most of the world's resources. Did, at one point, we actually did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, because we had, we I mean, did. natural resources, money, like, like gold wasn't always the currency of the world, you know, until, well, you know, Africa introduced them to it. But, like, again, like... You know, but now, like I said, we've got YouTube and like everybody's trying to get popular off of a short. Like, I could care less about video game. I can care less about comedy. Like, I think Dave Chappelle is the funniest dude in America right now. And I think he's the funniest dude in the world. That's just my perspective. And he makes fun of every race, every culture, every sexuality, every gender. And what makes me mad more than anything. I've watched comedians make fun of my big lips, my nose, my blackness, the stuff I eat, the stuff we say. But as soon as you make fun of somebody in the trans community, it's like you get some individuals, and not all, you get some that just lose their mind. It's like, oh, wait a minute. When he was talking about me, you didn't have a problem. If you've ever listened to Anthony Jesselnick, that dude is just rude as hell. You know, but like when he was making fun of me and calling me a spirit chucking friend, y'all all laughed. When he played Clayton Bigsby, y'all all laughed. When he had the episode The Nicker Family, y'all all laughed. Now, the minute he says anything about a trans at person everybody's up in arms like well wait a minute can can we just laugh like not everything is need to be politicized that everything is an attack sometimes it's just a funny observation right I'm like sorry. funny is funny right you never walked up, like somebody like a trans person ever walk up on you and you'd be like and be like you like hey sir ma'am i'm sorry I thought she was a dude. <laughs> My bad. 
I swear he was I'm a dude. Saying, your your <laughs> beard is bigger, longer. Than, I, mean, right. I don't got no long beard, but shit, your beard thicker than mine, bro. I don't know what to tell you. You know, oh, shit. You know, uh, clock shadows kicking in, homie. You know, oh, more than that. Look at that. See, see, see. I just realized what he's saying. YT is white. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Ray, YT is not YouTube. Left, blah, blah, blah. And I just, and I had to, I kept thinking YouTube, and I was like, oh, no, white. <laughs> <laughs> Learn something, yeah. didn't you, boy? Exactly. I don't, I don't use, I just type it out. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, mm-hmm. you know, I'm talking about it, so who cares? Uh, being white means you get to opt out of race. It's like being an unracialized identity in terms of important societal. So, yeah, no. Canceled, right? <laughs> Exactly. But no, yeah, just it, it it's it's crazy when somebody can just like you said, opt out of you know, I ain't got nothing to say about that. Well, I need your help. Like like Bernie Sanders gets on my nerves at times, but that dude is for the cause. Like, he been hosed too. You see the pictures of him, like, oh, they was clonking him on the head, too. <laughs> like, I, he, I mean, like, unlike so many people who talk a good game, like, Bernie Sanders was there. And I don't always agree with his politics. But I agree that he, I, I love the fact that he stands for something. You know, and it's not just minorities. It's men. It's, it's women. It's mm-hmm. children. It's, you know, how, how do we all get a little bit better? Like hurting someone's feelings or roasting them isn't the same as the actual consequences of racism. Yeah, exactly. Or putting LOL at the end of it. You could say some pretty horrible stuff to somebody and just put LOL and you solid. <laughs> like, man, you know, you a jerk. I don't even like. What's up, Precisionist? Thanks, man. I appreciate you. To those individuals who joined, thank you, Precisionists. Hope you had some fun racing. Appreciate you. Hopefully you won and did better than I did. Although my fixed race went well, it put me back over 1,900, even though I dropped below 1,900, so... Society is doomed. There's no fix in it. No sense in trying to fix something that people don't care to fix. Because it doesn't affect them. Yeah, yeah. Just a troubleshooting stream with some GT4 at Magello. Nothing too spicy tonight. I gotcha, I gotcha. Nothing wrong with that. These streams get more difficult each time they bring out a new feature. It's like, we think you should, uh... In, in addition to stream together, we think you should go potty together. Bringing that as a new feature coming to Twitch in 2025. But no, yeah, I mean, you're right, Anthony, like... <laughs> Alright, I'm done practicing. But yeah, like, you know I mean? Like, it's... Society is just... It's scary. Thanks, Precisionist, man. I appreciate you, boss. I truly do. You have a you have a good night. Uh I'll have a good race. Um Yeah, we're gonna try this last race and then what time does F one start? Is it start soon? Man, it's like uh eleven I think it starts here in a minute. Hold on, let me pull up my app. But I wasn't gonna stay up to watch that crap, man. I was shit. I'll I'll just catch the replay in the morning. Yeah, it actually starts in, in at eleven thirty. Oh, so it's in a minute. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I probably um, won't get to watch any of it tonight. Maybe yeah, I'll get a see, few sneak the, peeks. Yeah, because see, it's the P1 will be done um, at one thirty, And then no, Quali. I mean, 12.30. And then qualifying. And then Quali is at 3.30 in the morning. Oh, yeah. I ain't so, yeah, for I'll, that. Just, I'll end up catching. Now, I might, you know, tomorrow night, I'll probably, you know, I'll stay up and watch the sprint because that comes on at 11.00. 
Gotcha. So, yeah. you know, I watched the sprint, but like the rest, the quali- uh, qualifying and the race, no, nah, I'll just catch that stuff on replay in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Which I is cool. Up. I can that's I can watch just... it while I'm working. So. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Cause, oh, that's crazy. Three in the race at three in the morning. No, thank you. Right. I'll be all right. No ham, no burger. <laughs> <laughs> ham, burger. Uh, but yeah, social media right. has radicalized people. It allows, it allows people to find a group when they when they felt uh, alone, which is cool. Like, find a group. But you're right. Like, well, we got to be all the way to one side or the other. Right. You know, I mean, in order to stay in the group, they have to perpetuate the same narrative or be vanquished back to being alone again. And see, like, I'd rather be alone again than mess around and be in a group. Is like, oh, y'all, y'all crazy. I've left quite a few groups because of that. You'd be like, oh, yeah. um, well, like my, you know, like I told you, my my vaping buddies, you know, that like I said, we've all known each other for well over 13 plus years. But I mean, we are a dude. I mean, melting pot, like I, like I said. My friend Doc, Hillbilly from Tennessee. Got my, my ball headed stoner buddy in Detroit. Got a Portuguese guy from Portugal in Detroit. Um, Filipino girl in Columbus. Alfredo out in California. Dude, we're a dude. And the mess that we say in our room, we would all get canceled. You know? Hell, I, I mean, listen, I'm, but, I'm streaming this. We, I might be canceled tomorrow. Right, but we are all like, you know, we, you know, we have our little disagreements here and there. Blah blah blah. We may argue about it for a hot minute, but that don't mean like I'm gonna stop talking to you. I don't like you. You know, you're not my friend. I'm taking my ball and going home. Oh, but I, you know, hey, we have a little disagreement or we have different views on something. We may bitch about it for a hot minute and then we go about our business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Uh, see you tomorrow, bro. Uh, right. You're yeah. gonna have some wings and be cool. <laughs> you know, but yeah, like Silver just said, there's no gray areas. It's either you're pro or you're anti. You know, like it's, it's like you're pro-life or you're pro-choice. So you mean I'm pro-force or I'm pro-death? Like that, that's the opposite? Like, like I'm pro-life or I'm anti-life? Like, what? Like, how about I'm pro-nuance? I'm pro-mind my damn business? Here's my thing. Exactly. How about I'm pro let that person deal with their own damn human body. Right. How are you going to control someone else's body? You know what I'm pro? Yeah, I'm uh, pro, can I get a root beer? Can I get a root beer, y'all? Can I Can I just get a root beer? Can I get a root beer and eat some wings? Because I don't drink regular beer. But can I get a root beer? Have some wings? Maybe kick it? You know? Jim Bean and Coke call it a day. <laughs> Agree with me, or you're racist, misogynist, transphobic, or whatever describes anti me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Agree with me, or you. You know what? You're just the devil. It's like, right, dude. Like I. I just think that I should eat my vegetables first and then eat my steak. Like, why I gotta be the devil now? I got. I I was really just trying to you know tell you how much I like green beans, but you know you out here talking about <laughs> I, I either do this or I'm the devil. Like. You know what I mean? You don't put sugar on your grits? What? I no, I don't want sugar on my grits. I I mean I you know Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So I'm a steakophobic. Like, come on man, like I mean it's like like man well, I, like, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm steakophobic. I mean, oh really? I don't eat steak. I don't eat like you could take me to the most fanciest steakhouse in the universe and I'm gonna order chicken. Uh, well, because I don't go to fancy like, steak unless, restaurants because I make a better well, steak yeah, myself. But I yeah, is, unless unless it's like you know taco, hamburger, that kind of stuff, I'm not a big red meat eater. So yeah, like you won't see me ever say, "Oh man, I'm I'm hankering for a steak." I have a steak now. But I'm not oh yeah, we anti steak. I used to eat steak. I just don't do it. On, you know, I haven't ate steak in twenty plus years. So right, it's like one of those things like. If I invited you over and we were having steaks, you'd be like, oh, cool. But, like, you're not going to be like, hey, Ray, um, you know, I'm praying for the steak. Like, no, I, I can go without it. I mean, you got some chicken tenders? <laughs> no, yeah, the last time we had a steak was probably about a year and a half ago. They're just so expensive, too. But, yeah. All right. Oh, my God. Popped in. 
there was a group out there that was shot at Kinsey because you prefer chicken over steak. I'm pretty sure. I mean, hell, these, vegan, <laughs> these vegans are attacking my dignity. Like, good lord. Like, Man. Like, veganism right. is taking a whole new leather, attack. Are those leather shoes you're wearing? Yes. <laughs> and I bought them because they was leather. In fact, I got to pick the cow out that I was going to get the leather from, and they let me watch it die to make the leather shoes I'm wearing right now. I told them to kill a yeah. baby cow because I wanted <laughs> the most pristine leather. Leave me alone. <laughs> you know, I mean, but like, I mean, if you like lamb chops, you know, like, those are, those are babies. You know what I mean? Like, but like I said, I mean, at the end of the day, man, just, I ain't got nothing against you, don't have nothing against me and mock choices. You know? Man. How'd I get an off track there? Man, I swear to God, Imola is horrible with the off tracks. Oh, um, man, that's what I'm saying. And like, and like the other Sims, that wouldn't be an off track. That's what I don't understand. Now, that one, you might have went over the white line. That one. That one. I ain't going over the white line. Uh, Well, I'm, man, I'm watching your, your stream, so I'm a little behind, but... Whatever, man. Fight me. That's why I don't like you anyway. Get the fuck out. You, you canceled, Natty. Brenda, don't Natty is canceled. Yeah, jerk. You canceled. <laughs> I'm writing you off. There's no more don't big Natty in this group. We're gonna replace you with another Natty. We're gonna call him Chin. <laughs> We're gonna call him Chinsenatty. Like the crimson chin. Chin. <laughs> I, I totally want Natty, man. No, it's a crimson chin. <laughs> of course you would, Natty. <laughs> People love to harp on American freedoms, but they only want echo chambers. Yeah. Like I said, I don't like Colin Kaepernick, but I stood for his right to kneel just because that's called freedom of speech. Now, he got consequences, which freedom of speech does not say you can't have a consequence. Right. You know, it's, it's like, like you know, like I'm ex-military. I fall for the right. Like if you wanna, you wanna call me the n-word to my face, I fall for your right to do that. But again, you gonna suffer the consequences of it. Right. These, but I these, fall for your right to say it. Right. <laughs> you know, these, these these hands might be in your face. Man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like freedom of speech means I do get to say what I want to say. That doesn't mean if I yell fire in an open building, and there's no fire, I don't get prosecuted by the law. You know what I mean? So, like, you know. But, like, I, I just always wonder, like, what do races have against other races? Like, what do we do to make you so mad? I think a lot of it is straight fear. Well, I get that. I'm just saying, though, like, like, what are you fearful of? I, it, this is just my, my functions is that and again i could be 100 percent wrong but i've always thought that maybe some people you know of the you know less melanated um population would f that feel that if you know people you know black and brown people became p powerful that we would do to them what they did you know their ancestors did us it's like dude it's not that serious you really don't care like that no they, they, I think they, I, again, that's just one of my hypotheses, but black, I'm just thinking, black. no. On average, no, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's going to be outliers. I guess it's going to try to pull some crap. Right. You know, but on average, no. If all of a sudden the population was switched and the black people were, were the majority of this country, we, bro, just live your life. We don't care. Listen, like care. like Dave Chappelle says, Sprint bills are going to be paid off. It's going to skyrocket. Uh, Cadillac Scott, <laughs> Cadillacs are going to be everywhere. You know what I mean? Like it's like like let's be well, honest. My driveway, that's a damn shame. Right, like as much as <laughs> right, like black people have had the ability to retaliate. Let's be honest, we've had the ability to retaliate at any given for point, longest. Like gut, the okay. Second Amendment applies to everybody. People who have been oppressed, not just black people, yep. but the difference is where I get mad at our Thank culture is if you, if you talk to people who are like the Jewish community, the Irish community, 
the Asian community, uh, any minority group, they've become a group. Like Asian communities are so insular. They're like, you know what? I'm not going to let you do what you did to me last time. So I'm not going to put myself in that position again. Whereas white people are like, well, uh, I'll take that stimulus check and then I'll vote for you. I don't care what you do to me. I'll take a little bit of money. You know what I mean, and it's like, come on, people. You know, but yeah, like I said, it's like I said, so far it's taught. You know, contemporary racism is rooted around the insecurity, rooted around the insecurity that comes from learning that their life might have been less difficult than somebody else's because of, because they are white. It's taught just like the religion. Most people growing up never question why it just is. Yeah. You know, like they can't just accept that they may have been beneficiaries of this oppressive system. So they get, yes, exactly. Black people live in the past more than any other race. We claim victimhood more. Asians were oppressed. Jews were oppressed. Exactly. Like America and our unique history here, we know. But like, let's not forget the concentration camps <laughs> that the Asian population faced. Right. Like straight concentration camps. <laughs> like we took all their land, all their property, put them in concentration camps, didn't give it back, sold it for pennies on the dollar, and said, hey, you live over here. And inside, they were fuming. I'm pretty sure if you could sit with them, fuming. They said, all right, no worries. I won't let you do this to me again. And I, I find that amazing. I don't know about you guys, but I find that amazing that they said, all right, no worries. I bet it won't happen again. I bet you won't catch me in that. You know, and sober, you're right. Like, we play victim, and I hate it. I know what the banks have done. I know what the country has done. I know, I know, you know, what Truman said about niggers. I know what all those things happen. But at the end of the day, like, I, outside of a handful of people in my entire life who've treated me differently, maybe because I was black. Now, I've been called the N-word a couple of times, but maybe they treated me different because I was black. Or maybe, maybe, uh, and maybe, let me, you know, throw this out there. Maybe it was because I was hollering at the girl that they liked and they didn't get them. <laughs> maybe that was it. I think that was more like it. <laughs> you know, I was piping no, the person Julie they wanted. don't take the BBC. Exactly. <laughs> she saw a video, said, why not? And, you know, we kicked mm -hmm. it for a minute. Man. And then when I sent her no, back, like, I she was salty. Yep. But, like, you know, before I go to bed. But, yeah, I mean, like, and I'm going to be honest. I tell people all the time, bro. Don't get me wrong. I love my people, but you know I hate the element. Yeah. Uh, but I have actually had more white people help me through my life. Well, yes. At least, you know, my younger part of yeah. my life coming up than black folks ever have in my life. And it's weird. So, it's weird because, so, you know. Mm -hmm. My man, my old football coach, high school football coach, may he rest in peace. That dude helped me so much. Like he used to pick me up. Now, mind you, I lived in Mount Vernon, New York, at the time, and he was driving from Yonkers, New York, to drop me off and or pick me up, or drop me off to make sure I was getting home. If I couldn't get the bus, if the bus was too late, like, and mind you, he lived completely out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, so like, yeah, I mean. You know, grew up in Delaware, never heard the N-word directed at me until he was in the Mil Marine Corps. And people look crazy, man. Like you said, history as well, but it can't dictate and control the future. Absolutely. People will hold on to those nuggets of the past. Like, like it's still, everything is hitting them today. And it's like, listen, I get it. There are systemic issues. But none of us have suffered at the hands of true utter racism and the ways that now it's more subtle now it's done in a way uh, let me stay focused here well hey man before you continue i'm about to bounce out of here absolutely okay, brother have a good night you do the same i always appreciate you uh, and yeah solomon that car sucks i tried that damn hot lap challenge man i did a 130 so I know I'm slow as dirt, so here's what it is. You got it, boss. What, it's all good. What one? The, 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 what was it? The, the Ray FF? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. I'm slow as dirt that time, so. Yeah, but I'll, I'll play with it again. Oh, God. All right.
Right. Y'all right. have a good one, man. I'll see y'all later. You too, Natty. All right, man. All right, let's see if I can get this. Is Oh, I almost oh, spun. No, I think he left. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm trying to do the um, Puss Cup car. On Rhode Island. Oh, nice. Yay. It's about to start. Well, hopefully you win. So hopefully you win. Oh wow! I'm just I'm just gonna be in the back and you know watch people crash. Nah, man, race, quality and race. I'm just trying to get my uh, safety safety ratings up. Well, if you want to do that, you got to pick a track that is uh, got a lot of twists and turns. You'll get some from Motor America, but not a ton. You should be just doing the GT4 races. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I need to I need to take that all these tracks. Yeah, man. Well, just like I said, uh you keep hopping around. You're gonna have to pick something. If it's gonna be the Porsche, then pick the Porsche. But the only way you get the tracks uh, to race in the series is you gotta pick a car that you enjoy enough that you think it's worth investing in. Especially if you want to get better at i racing. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. If the goal is to get better at i racing, then you're gonna to have to pick a car in series and just commit yeah. to the series kind of like Logan did because when I first yeah. met him he was only racing the Mazdas and he still does at times but he's committed to GT4 for the next for this season yeah. he did it last season and I believe for next season or the next two seasons he's doing it so like I said I mean you have to pick and choose what you want iRacing to be do you want iRacing to be just a fun game you jump in and play and, you know, whether you get good or not, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. You know, like, you know, it like if it, if if it's something to come in and jump in and have fun, then I would just race. You know what I mean? As long as you can race the cars and series that you want at times, you know, don't really worry about safety rating. Just say, you know what, whether my eye rating gets up or not, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? I still need it. I still need it, but... Right, but I mean... It won't... Like, it won't plummet, is what I'm saying. Like, you're not going to be like, Oh, man. Like, you'll have some good races, and you'll have some bad ones. Yeah. Oh, too wide. Yeah, you know what I mean? Cohen and Soberman, you guys are awesome. I appreciate all the guys who chimed in on a conversation that most people wouldn't dare have on their sim racing channel. But I love these conversations because they make us better. You know? And if I said something to offend anybody, I apologize. Never my intent. But, you know, sometimes people's feelings get involved. And something bothers them where, you know, my intent is not that, so. Alright, 
right, let's see if we can make up any spots here if I'm relegated. Totally messed up that. One thirty seven six, good lord. I'm so far off the pace. Too wide. Good board. Like, what are these dudes doing? Oh, it's an eight point one K. Why are you in this race? <laughs> Come on. Oh, darn it. Right side, clear. All right. Got 
right behind me is catching me, but he is quicker. Oh, thanks, GT4, for bringing me back in the fight with Udi. <laughs> He's got an enemy chick on the back of his car. Sometimes these GT4s get in the way and benefit you, sometimes they do not. Like right now, I'm not going to benefit from this one. Oh, this is not going to be good. Speaking to non white people, it takes on the race. Sounds I'll try and read that in a sec. Since you say that to me when speaking to non-white people, your takes on race or sometimes it is. Well, I can't read that. Slow down for that. That's ridiculous.
Oh, come on. How am I off track? They think glitch and concerns are indistinguishable. <laughs> Is as bad as the far right. Absolutely. The far left wants to cancel you and judge you. The far right wants to kill you. <laughs> but in a different way. Like It's just really weird where we live right now in this world. It's, it's a crazy place to be. It's it's just crazy to be of this world now and have children and live in a household I live in where it's we're just a mixed interracial family and I sometimes wonder where my kids are going to fit in into the grand scheme of things anyway. Like, where does, where do my trio of kids fit in who don't all look the same, you know? Does my white son protect the interests of people who look like his brothers and sisters, you know? Does he see, <clears throat> does he see the big picture <clears throat> that him being a white male he must speak up for those who are disenfranchised and marginalized when given the opportunity. I don't know, guys. I mean, that's what we raise our kids to do, but everybody gets influenced by nature and nurture. I guess we shall see. I will we expect it to be. And I wish where I could be would be so much faster.
How you doing here, Solomon? I start at P19. I'm in P9 right now. Good stuff. But right at the line, like the um, the start, the dude just the dude just um fun. That's not the way um you know green. Dude just fun and he hit me. That alone gave me like five five X's. I'm like, no, actually four. And then another dude just hit me from the back. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Yeah. Big one too. Well, sorry about that. But just you yeah, know, continue I mean... to race your race. The world has changed, society has changed. You're right, Silver. You know what I mean? It's... And it's not getting any simpler. But it should be. Yeah, both Republicans and Dems are pushing something, and they're trying to force-feed it to us, as if we can't think. Yeah, so they're both pushing something down our throats, to be honest. They're, they're both just trying to get us and convince us of something. And people keep buying a hook, line, and sinker, and I... And it just makes me laugh at times, because people... Like, they go, yeah, I saw this on the news. I saw this in the paper. It's like, did you vet it? Did you check it? Did you do some research? No. You just saw it, and it became truth. And it's just scary. Spawn out, spawn out. You spun out? Yeah. Well, you are driving the murder beetle, so. I just lost two positions. Oh, my guy is blinking.
thank you. So much pace left in this car, I just can't maximize it. What's up, Andrew? Well, my first race didn't go so well. Um, LMP3 braking is brutal. Yeah. I was so much better season before last, but I need to practice more. I just don't have any time to practice as much as I need to for my skill set. But it's my favorite car. Oh, good. I'll look you off, man. But hey, I'm just trying to do the best I can. What the fuck was that? Do any racing, Andrew, today? Clear. Ran any Long Beach this week, IMSA series? No, I have not, and I need to because I love it. I love Long Beach and I love the P2. But as we know, IMSA. At Long Beach, oh. <clears throat> it's a beautiful nightmare. <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. And I'm not sure it's a present you want to actually open up all the time. Because I also believe IndyCar is there, what? Is it this week? It's like a P9, it looks like. As long as I don't screw up. They fixed the IMSA LMP2 at Long Beach. It was a nightmare, bro. Dodging left and right. How was the weather in it? Did it have rain in it? I don't know if this is a week where there's rain involved. Because, uh, albeit I'm going to gain some ironing from this race. My safety rating has been taking a huge pop in the neck. 
get 1500 I rating trying to start streaming here soon so gotta be more oh. gotta be more picking on my races and get I rating up I gotcha I gotcha trust me yeah I had dipped Below, yeah, I gained I rating, Jim. Calm down. Drive nice. Thanks, I racing spotter. He's so much nicer to me. But, um, yeah, let me know when you start streaming. <coughs> we can, as long as you're in the channel, we can attach it in our streams and videos so you know we all get notified when you stream because lots of us just chill and while we're working or chilling at home or even <laughs> at work sometimes we might jump in and just tune in so you're going to stream on twitch and youtube or just twitch Oh man, it's twelve eighteen. So this won't be copper anymore here soon. Three, two, I will have right here. the aluminum. Nice, Andrew. Yeah, just join the if you join the Discord, um all you gotta do is uh we ask people if you want to, you don't have to, not mandatory. If you're okay with sharing your, uh, cause I'm about to be done for the night. So let's see, where do we end up? 1945, we gained 0.04. So that's nice. Um, I had more pace, but I just, it's hard to extract it out. Like, yeah. I like looking at some of the guys, like they're just quicker. His average lap times are 139.3. I start off so slow. Um, you probably won't start until you're around 3K. Oh, wow. So you're going to wait until you get way up there. Okay. I would say start now. Uh, I don't have 3K. Um, I'm trying to get back to 2K. Um, but yeah, like I would just say stream now, dude. Like Build your audience now while you got it. And just, to me, it's also cool to show that growth. Like you started at 1500 and keep moving up slowly over time. Like, I think that's a cool thing to do as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, join the discord. Um, you can jump on our chats. Like we have a bunch of things I've created in the channel, whether it's a DIY build or, you know, things like that, but just join in, um, you know, when you set your channel up to stream, um, yeah, like you have, yeah. and I think with sim racing, you have like two groups of people. You have your super fast aliens that people watch a ton of, or you have average people like myself. And, <laughs> you know, and again, as you grow, like it's cool and we can see that growth and maybe you're doing something we're not doing and we can learn from you as well. So, you know, um, but yeah, this race went better for me. So we're net gain for the night. Um, But yeah, if we look at sports car, I was at eighteen thirty-eight, and then 
1909. Yeah, let's see. Just look at the last few races. So, da, 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 da. so the first race we lost 18. Second race we gained 34. Third race we gained 20. So 45. Yeah. So a nice little, nice little, uh, yeah, like I said, just join the channel. You can hit me up in the Discord, let me know. Um, sorry to keep repeating myself, but I can't remember where I left off. Um, you know, tag me your channel and I'll add it to the streams um, and videos. And we just link it so alerts come through and let us know when you're streaming. Like I said, we tend to jump in, you know. Um, a lot of our guys play different games. Some of them play sim racing games. Like, we just jump in, say what's up. Yeah. Most appreciated, man. Most appreciated. Yeah, I'm about to get off of here, man, because, you know. Uh, sober, you have a good night, my brother. I appreciate the chat and the talk. Um, I'm about to get off of here myself because I am done for the night. Uh, let me see. What's the officials for the remaining week? I haven't done Long Beach. Yeah. So, IndyCar, Long Beach. Fixed. <laughs> We've done any racing there. Yeah, I haven't done any. Yeah, not not big turnouts either. It's either a ton or none. So we'll see. All right, guys, I appreciate you all. Um, if you have questions for me, hit me up. If you're building anything from Pokorny and I have some prints, let me know. I likely can send you some for free. If you're building the rally, if you're building the hyper wheel, um, I've got a ton of parts, different colors. Like I said, this will be changing out here soon. I'll stream a video as I put that together. But I appreciate you all. I'll check you out in the next one. Super peace. Like super, super, super peace. Talk to you guys later.